guess what everyone we are at duncan aviation right here in battle creek and did you know that they offer tours contact duncan aviation and find out how you can get one hello everyone hello. i'm miss stephanie and this is miss nicole hello. and boy do we have a treat for you, you today sure do. we are so excited we are at Duncan Aviation, and the reason why is because we have this great activity. Yes. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make our own straw airplane. They're not quite as cool as the real airplanes, but it's at least something fun we can do at home today. Yeah, so stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We're gonna tell you a few things, and then we're gonna go right into our craft. Um, if you did not get one, we have our July grab and go kits. Go to the downtown um, Willard Library or Helen Warner Branch. Hopefully there's still some available. If not, we are certain there are probably some things at your house that you can use to substitute because it's a real easy program. Yeah, yep, you just need paper, tape, and straws, either plastic or paper and you can do this even without our kids. Yes, and so hopefully you have been participating in our summer reading program. Stop by and get your brochure. In the brochure, there's something for the whole family and you can win prizes. Yay! Isn't that cool? Yes, definitely. Yes, and we're so excited to have the summer reading program, which is Tales and Tales. Woo, woo, woo. and also, if you are really into flying and airplanes and crafts, we have lots of resources about it. We have a book called The Ultimate Guide to Paper Airplanes. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yes, and then we also have an easy reader book called Airplane Adventure. Oh, cute. And if it's your first time learning about crafts, my first guides to paper airplane so there's so much you can do this summer no need to be bored because willard library has so many things to keep you engaged and love of learning to read so let's get to our craft all right let's do it so if you grabbed our kit you're gonna take out the flyer for july 21st and if you didn't grab it, but you want to make this sweet straw paper airplane, you can still do it. What you're going to need is paper. And it's nice to have a thick cardstock if possible. The one in this bag has lines on it, but you don't need lines if you don't have your this kit. And then you need some straws. You can do one straw all the way up to however many you can fit. Ours are paper straws, but plastic works too. And you're going to need some tape. And of course, scissors to cut the tape. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to, like with these ones, we only need two pieces of paper. So you're gonna cut out the two strips of paper. And we're doing it this way, but if you wanna try it this way, um, you definitely can. With STEM activities, there's no wrong way. The best thing you can do is experiment, see if it works, and if it doesn't, try again. All right, so if you notice, we have a larger circle and a smaller circle. So with one of the strips of paper, we're gonna keep it that size. With the other strip, we're gonna cut a little off because we do want it to be a little smaller at the front. So you can cut it in half or a little less than half, maybe a quarter off, so whatever you decide. So now we have our two strips of paper, not the same size. Now we're gonna need some tape. And with this experiment, you might need a second pair of hands. Okay. I tried to do That's it myself. What I'm here for. It wasn't always easy. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're going to fold over our circle. Okay. And we're gonna tape it because we want it to be a circle. All right. So would you hold that, Miss Stephanie? I sure will. And I think the more tape, the better. But you could as much tape as you want. You want to secure it so it forms a nice circle. Maybe I did use too much tape. All right, so we've got circle one. All right, That's there we the go. That's the big circle. And then now we're gonna make the smaller circle. So here is that. I might have lost the start of the tape. There we go. All right, so we've got some more tape. We're gonna tape this again. 
And now it's going to be time to add our straw. That's how we connect the circles. Yeah. All right, you can add them on the outside of the circle, the inside, however you want. And you're going to tape them to both the large circle and the small circle. So we'll show you what that looks like. I love the colors, Ms. Nicole. Yes, we tried to do fun summer colors. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Tape it on real good. Make sure you tape it really good because this baby's got to fly. So we want it real sturdy. All right, so we've got it on this, uh, the larger circle and now I'm gonna attach it to the smaller circle. Again, you can attach it to the outside, the inside, doesn't matter. All right. So that's what the first one looks like. And you can keep going and adding straws like we did with these. You can try it with the one straw or you can keep going, but they should fly. Should we give this a go? Let's give it a go. Okay. Let's see. All right, All right. ready? One, two, three, five. Woo! All right. Let's try this one. Woo! <laughs> Really that looks good. ready for yeah. Duncan Aviation. Approved. <laughs> and probably if it's a windy day, that helps it go a little longer. Did you guys know that there in the Guinness World of World Records, the furthest paper plane aircraft went 69.14 meters? Wow. Yeah. So do you guys think you can beat that? I think they can. I bet you can. So with our STEM activities, there's no wrong way, keep trying, keep exploring. And you might wonder, what's the science behind paper airplanes? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you, and I'm gonna read it from this paper because I can't remember it. So, so with our paper airplanes that we uh, made, there are four parts of force of flight that we talked about. Weight, lift, thrust, and drag. So weight would probably be the more straws you add or maybe the thicker paper that you use. Right, right. The lift is the, I don't have any here, but would be the circles that we have. It okay. helps like lift it up in the air. All right. And thrust is when we throw it. We're, yeah, we're adding thrust to flight. And drag is once it gets going, the air is coming this way and it's slowing it down and the gravity is pulling it back. To Earth. I wouldn't that have known that. Awesome. Yes, yeah. See what you learn when you read? Definitely. Yes. Oh, so nice. once again, thank you, Duncan Aviation, yes. for allowing us to be here. It is a beautiful place. There's so many beautiful things that we have right here in Battle Creek. Thank you for allowing us to videotape right here at Duncan yeah. Aviation. Thank you where very this much. beautiful yeah. plane is located. Have a good rest of your summer.